If you've had the chance to ride the latest Apex with electric power steering, then you already know how good it is. I've logged several thousand clicks on various EPS equipped Apexes, and I can tell you this, I have zero desire to ride a non-EPS sled again. It really is that brilliant. But what if you're not in the market for an Apex? Maybe you're not looking for the absolute maximum in speed and performance. Well, if you're a fan of the RS Vector, I've got some good news for you. Because for 2012, the Vector has also been equipped with Yamaha's exclusive electric power steering system. It is easy to underestimate the RS Vector, you know, by assuming it's simply a 600 class machine, especially if you haven't ridden one. But don't forget, it has basically the same engine as the potent FX Nitro, albeit toned down just a little for ultra smooth engagement and maximum fuel economy. But the real magic to the Vector is more in what it doesn't do. It doesn't cost a lot to run because it doesn't require premium fuel and it's incredibly fuel efficient. It doesn't require the oil tank to be filled every third tank of gas. Yeah, you do have to change the oil, but that's less than three and a half liters of Yamalube every 4,000 kilometers, which is less than a penny of oil per kilometer. Some are quick to point out you also need oil filters, and they are correct. But after changing the first one, which comes with the sled, of course. The second one is good for 20,000 kilometers. And that's about five years of riding for the average sledder. You never have to pull a cord to start it. And you never have to pay extra for electric start, ever. The engine never lugs because of all that four-stroke torque. So you never have to wait for the clutching to catch up with the power band. It doesn't make a lot of noise, which means you can ride for hours without getting a headache. It doesn't spew that smelly two-stroke oil, which makes your entrance back home more appealing to the rest of your family. It doesn't rattle your fillings over each stutter bump, or make you feel like you have to hit the gym just to ride for more than an hour at a time. And its resale value doesn't plummet like a stone after just a couple of years. But if there was a flaw in the armor, it was low speed steering effort, but not anymore. With EPS, steering effort is dramatically reduced. But it doesn't just have EPS. It also has the Apex's new front suspension and ski, which improves steering accuracy while reducing darting and ski lift. It's just amazing how accurate and effortless the steering is. You really can ride this sled all day. Another bonus from the power steering is it isolates you from some of the harsher feedback coming through the bars, which is not something you'll notice right away until you get back on a sled without EPS. In fact, one of the best comments we get from people on demo rides is just how seamless the EPS system works. It's hard to imagine it's there at all until you ride another sled without it. Now, if you haven't ridden a sled with EPS, you might still be a little skeptical about it. And after all, it's hard to imagine something so small having such a big difference. So we've come up with a couple of ideas for you to consider. For one, you could try driving your car with the power steering disconnected. Or you could pretend that EPS might just be a fad, you know, like Elvis or the microwave oven. Oh, but that didn't really work out for the ATV crowd now, did it? Or you could check out our website for a power tour date and actually take an EPS sled for a spin yourself. You may even want to check with your local dealer to see if they can't get you out for a ride. <laughs>